Hackers break iPhone X Face ID, Homeland Security hacks a Boeing 757, and WikiLeaks releases source code. This is Hacker Daily for Tuesday, November 14th, 2017, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. Hackers have claimed to have already broken Apple's iPhone X Face ID. Last week, Vietnamese security firm BCAV released a blog post and video demonstrating how they cracked Face ID with a composite mask of 3D printed plastic, silicone, makeup and paper cutouts, which in combination tricked an iPhone X into unlocking. Although that demonstration has yet to be confirmed publicly by other security researchers, it could poke a serious hole in the security of the iPhone, especially since the researchers said their mask cost only $150 to make. BCAV researchers stated, potential targets shall not be regular users, but billionaires, leaders of major corporations, nation leaders, and agents like FBI need to understand the face IDs issue. In other news, it appears that a Homeland Security team managed to remotely hack a Boeing 757. During a keynote address at the 2017 CyberSat Summit, a DHS official admitted that he and his team of experts remotely hacked into a Boeing 757 while parked at the airport in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The actual hack occurred over a year ago and citizens are only learning about it now because of a speech delivered by Robert Hickey. He stated, We got the airplane on September 19, 2016. Two days later, I was successful in accomplishing a remote, non-cooperative penetration. That means I didn't have anybody touching the airplane. I didn't have an insider threat. I stood off using typical stuff that could get through security, and we were able to establish a presence on the systems of the aircraft. Although the details are classified, Hickey admitted to accomplishing it by accessing the plane's radio frequency communications. And lastly, WikiLeaks released source code for Vault 7 tools. The whistleblowing organization began a series of Vault 8 releases last week, including source code related to stolen CIA hacking tools. It also includes source code for Hive, an alleged malware communications tool. They even unveiled the details of an increasingly common tactic used by cybercriminals, creating fake certificates to hide malware from security filters. In this case, it was revealed that the CIA had created a fake certificate to appear as if it was issued by Kaspersky Lab and signed by Thought. WikiLeaks stated, in this way, if the target organization looks at the network traffic coming out of its network, it is likely to misattribute the CIA exfiltration of data to uninvolved entities whose identities have been impersonated. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. And use our promo code HackerDaily to receive 10% off on all Hacker Arsenal gear. Once again, that promo code is HackerDaily. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.